How about we do a Geek Vape Nova kit with the Cerberus? Cerberus. Let's see here. I always forget what it's called. Cerberus. Cerberus tank that comes with it. It's, uh, what is this thing? It's like 29 bucks. No, it's $24.95 as this kit is right here. Okay. 200 watt box mod. Um, you can change the color on this one's screen from red to white to blue. All your temp controls. It works. I, uh, I got coils for the Rafael tank. And uh, it works. It works just fine on here. Um, it's really... It's almost identical to the Bupu drag. The only thing different with this, the, the display is different, and the USB port is 180 degrees flipped. Is that 180 degrees? Yeah, 180 degrees flipped the opposite way. But uh, other than that, it's a little bit lighter. It's completely rectangular with rounded out edges, which is kind of nice. This is all nice and grippy supposedly resin I don't know I'm not a resin expert is it resin who knows they know let's talk about this tank first uh, these are the point two coils in this right now if they don't read point two oh camera now uh, you pick all that up it's reading it up as a .16. Yeah, this part up here is a little too bright for you to read. There you go. When it dies down. Um, this has the least amount of airflow out of my other two tanks that have mesh in them. Which, if you use this as most people use a sub-ohm tank, and they take a rip on it this coil is gonna last you a nice proper long time because you're constantly creating that vacuum putting fresh juice up into that coil head and yeah goodness right I don't vape like that so with that said these coil heads are only lasting me about a week and a half whereas the Freemax ones last me about a month. It's all on the way I vape. I don't take these heavy drags like they want you to do on these tanks. I take because I like to enjoy my vape. I don't want to make it a workout. just like to breathe it in not all the time um, so yeah I get like a week and a half out of these and like I said it says 0.2 on the package it says 0.2 on the coil it says 0.16 on the box on this box that box the other box the other doesn't matter It's a nice looking little tank. It kind of reminds me of the way the Kelpie looks, really. Um, kind of does. And uh, it's really hard when I have a black drip tip over there on the Kelpie to not grab the Kelpie. Which is sitting on another device over there. But it has the least amount of airflow. Regular, a hard pull, right? This is wide open. hard pull the regular uh, free mesh fire luke no I don't remember uh, uh, free max fire luke mesh yeah sounds right a hard rip on this is just I don't vape like that super loud you saw not a lot of vapor because I only have this at 40 watts. Why is it at 40 watts? Because I keep it low because I don't vape like that. I vape like this. It 
and it's luscious and lovely. Way more airflow out of this little mother tank right here than there is the Cerebus. Cerebrus. Cerebus. Weirdest way to spell shit. Or the the old Fire Luke. Uh, it's just a Fire Luke tank with the mesh coil head in it. This has the most airflow of both of them, but the coil head is huge. The airflow slots are huge. If I take a rip on this, this is at 47. I'll bop this one up to 50. Right now we're just doing the tank. Ready? Bopped up to 50. It can take way more if you're ripping on it. That's not how I vape. Luscious. Yes, I could rip this up at like uh, 80 watts or something stupid like that and just take a rip on it and just cloud the whole room out. It's not how I vape. So, month on these coil heads with the way I vape. A week and a half on these coil heads with the way I vape. Does have a nice stubby drip tip. However, it leaves that it's not flush, okay? It's not flush up there. So, the drip tip just kind of becomes a, a, a extension piece up, which is weird. It's bayonet style. Ugh. Hold on. I haven't used this in a couple days. There we go. So, it's like a quarter turn or so. Bayonet style. Big old kidney holes. Ooh, that's getting juicy up there, huh? No seeps, leaks, drips, kips, whatever you want to call it. Um, watch too many other people's videos. That's for damn sure. They always compare shit with other shit and shit and shit. Shit. Sorry, out of focus. So that's it. Same old uh, tank style. You do have to pretty much have this almost completely empty. The coil head ends right about there. So I could probably open the bottom of this, but why bother? Unscrew the bottom, put a new coil head in, or prime it first, and uh, off you go vaping again. And this bad boy is five clicks, turn off and on. Gives you a little lightning bolt. A little uh, focus. A little focus. A little focus. I did six there, but it's five. Gives you all your pertinent information. Pups, amps, volts, coil, all that. And there's your wattage. Once it dims down, my camera picks it up. But once I click it again... I just wanted three. Okay. Now, you can't see it because it's too goddamn bright for the camera. But, that's how you change all your settings. You click it three times. Click it three times. Click it three times. There we go. Uh, and up and down buttons. If I go up from power, it's temp control nichrome. Temp control stainless steel, temp control titanium, uh, TCR mode. I don't know what the the VPC is. I don't know what that is. Hold on, it went. If you let it sit there, it pops right back out of the menu. Or bypass mode, which gives you four point whatever volts. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Better. Um, so in in bypass mode. It's giving me a whopping 4 volts right there. Um, it doesn't tell me anything else really unless I push the fire button. It, I'm not pushing the fire button so it won't even tell me the volts. But this is 4 volts. So you got to rip on it. Or it's going to dry. Basically turning this into a mech. 
So, back to power mode. If you press and hold the power button on whatever you're on, it that's what I'm at now, okay? Um, if you're in, this isn't going to show up on the camera very well. But, it's three clicks. Three clicks of that, and then both the, pop, the up and down buttons will change to blue, will change to white, will change back to red. Okay? Um, and that's it. Oh, I went back to bypass mode. Power. Thanks. And yes, if you just tap the power button, it goes down into your little sub menu stuff right here, and you can change your coil uh, ohms to diff Sure, I could probably bop this up and say, read my 2.0 ohm coil as a, or a 0.2 ohm coil as a 0.2 ohm coil, which, why? The mod already knows it's. 0.16 when it's supposed to be a 0.2 a little frustrations but the mod works exactly how it's supposed to it is super light um, it's nice that it has the ridges you know because ruffles have ridges and who doesn't like ruffles I haven't really been taking this out I took it out like twice since I had it um, it's just as pocket friendly as any other little square box, uh, about about the size of a pack of smokes with you know a mini book bick on top of it. These don't bother me to take out, so that's what I take out. There are a couple of things on this that I really do enjoy. You know how some mods it'll say in this mode you can only use. Uh, point this to point that or point this to 3 ohm or point this to 2 ohm depending on what mode you're in this one doesn't care this one says any mode and I'm gonna go down to the page and I'm gonna scroll it and uh, do, do 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 where does it say it resistant range all modes point zero five to 3 ohms all modes you don't have to worry about what you're in I love that uh, 5 watt, 200 watt, uh, temperature range is 100 C to 315 C or 200 F to 600 F, you know, Celsius, Fahrenheit, all that stuff. Uh, it's supposed to be a uh, 10 millisecond response time. It's right there. It's right there. No issues there. Dual 18650. Mod dimensions are 52 by 25 by 88. Almost identical to the Vupu drag in every way. Any other pertinent information you would like to know? It does come in a few different colors. Black, blue, the greenish spotted blue. It's, it's a nice looking mod. It works really well. Let me get rid of this out of my face so I know what I'm doing here. Um... The Cerberus, Cerberus tank, I don't know. Um, I like my Freemax ones a little bit better than this one. Uh, it works. And it's just, it's got just as much flavor as these. My only issue is the way I vape, the coil heads only last me a week and a half. And if you can choose a coil head lasting you a week and a half or a coil head lasting you a full month, I would hope you would choose the coil head that taste and vapes the same for a month versus the week and a half that's just me it does come with a user manual bits and bobs for the tank comes with a uh, uh, nice little USB cable for it um, can't remember if it's upgrade upgradable or not I've never done that with any mods, even the ones I have that you can. Just use them as they are. I don't want to monkey with my mods. I just want them to work when I put whatever I have on top of them. This just works. It works quite nice. Um, 
So 25 millimeters fit flush on here, if you care to know that. I don't have a problem with overhang. You all know it. This thing could be 60 millimeters. I would still stick it on, you know, top of this and vape it because I can. The Geek Vape Nova kit. I got this over at 8 Vape, what I say, $24.95 for the whole kit. Um, yeah, $25 bucks for a kit like this. It's super light. It's super light. This feels like a brick compared to this. That's what I got for you. The Nova kit. It's really nice. Really handy. It, uh, it's got no scratches or nothing in it yet. Even, even on the bottom where I set it down all the time. No scratches there either. I don't even think there's a ring under the tank. It's kind of weird, the uh, 510 connection. A little bit of moisture collection on there. It's an oval. It's uh, the only device I have that has an oval on the top of it for the 510. Yeah, moisture under the tank. Condensation for us all. Keeping it vapey. Now it's going to ask me if I put a new one on. Yes. This is one of my gripes. Is Don't ask me if I put a new one on. You should automatically do it. Like every device I'm using right now, ask me. Is this new? Is this old? Is this new? Is this old? Uh, just, I want to slap it on there and that's it. Be done. Be done for the day. That's what I got for you. Really nice buttons. Ah. Tasty. Some custard in that. Adults like flavors too. Y'all have fun now. I know I will.